All right, people, so here it once again. So today I'm gonna show you how to fix the leak on the oil cooler on the single overhead cam 3.2 engines. Oh, I can see I have a cooling leak here as well. Okay, so anyway, um, we're gonna fix the oil cooler leak. Now, uh, these oil coolers are actually a two-part oil cooler, so there's an O-ring that goes between these two parts, and when an O-ring goes bad, it starts leaking. So you need the O-ring, of course. Now I got this in the oil cooler kit, I think it's called from Rock Auto. I'm gonna leave a link. Uh, it's a kit with like five seals and this O-ring comes in there. You need a 13, uh, 30, sorry, 30 millimeter socket and oil catch can. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove the oil filter and the bolt that, I mean like the threaded part where the uh, oil filter threads on it's also a bolt that keeps this thing together. So you're gonna remove that bolt and then you're gonna split the oil cooler and replace it O-ring. So all I'm gonna do right now is remove the oil filter and then I'm gonna show you what's next. I'll see if I can actually record what I'm doing because it's kind of tight under here, but we'll see. Okay, so now with the oil filter out of the way, you can see what I was talking about. This is the bolt that you're gonna remove. So you're gonna get your socket on there and really crank on it because they're usually really tight so I'm gonna try to do that right now I really hope I can get it off okay so I just removed that center thing I was talking about and as you can see now the oil cooler is split so the o-ring is right in there uh, it's this one right here as you can see it's all flat and just in really rough shape so I'm gonna clean both maiden surfaces, get that old O-ring out, install the new one, and retighten everything. You can see it really is not that bad. And now I've lost around, I don't know, maybe half a quart of oil, so you definitely need to have um, a quart of oil ready to go in after you do this job. So as I said, I'm gonna clean everything, install the new O-ring, and then I'm gonna reinstall this center piece there. Okay, so here's the old one and the new one. So I was wrong, the O-ring doesn't go in that part right there, it actually goes on here. Here you can see the group. So I'm gonna finish cleaning this part and the mating surface on the uh, of the half right here. Make everything super clean. And I'm gonna get the O-ring on there. I think I'm gonna get some oil on there so that it doesn't get pinched when I get to tighten this part right there. And that's gonna be it. Then you can reinstall the oil filter. Um, just uh, add all the oil that you lost. Of course, not the old one, you know, get a new part and refill the engine. And I'm gonna fire it up uh, to check for leaks. Okay, so as you can see, I just finished tightening the center. Now, I don't have a torque spec on this thing, but you don't want it to be super tight nor loose. Um, as you can see, I'm still cleaning everything here so that I can see whether it leaks again or not. But I think we're ready, so you have this aligning tab right here. And after that, you can restart the center bolt, tighten it. And I'm so, as I said, I've just cleaned this a little uh, more. I think I'm gonna clean it a little bit more still. But now I can reinstall the oil filter it up and check for leaks and that's what i'm gonna do right now all right so i just cleaned this the best that i could it's all nice and clean now i'm ready to fire this thing back up so that's what i'm gonna do now let it run for a while and just check for leaks you know um, here at the oil filter and the cooler itself but i'm really confident it, it's gonna be okay so let's see what happens now So far, so good. I'm gonna let it run for a few minutes and just make sure there are no leaks and everything looks perfect so far. So, as always, thanks for watching. If you had any questions, feel free to post them in the comments and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible.